Hey guys, John Faulkner here. Today I'm joined by Charlie Hogwood. And uh, a couple months ago we posted a picture when Charlie and I did a class together. It was just a picture and it broke the internet and I got so tired of answering the same stupid <laughs> question that when Charlie came up here, I was like, bring your stupid, what? Survival platform. Survival platform, okay? <laughs> We've gone past kit, we're now to platform. Uh, this is something that Charlie puts on his belt whenever we head into the woods, and uh, you designed it? I did. I did design it. Yep. So, um, so I had Charlie here, and I was like, we're going to walk through this thing. We're going to do a video, and then every time somebody sees a question or asks something on this thing, I'm going to be like, here's the stupid link. Mm -hmm. Go watch it. Uh, <laughs> because literally that many questions have come through. But, uh, but it's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, it, it actually is. It, I know it looks like a monstrosity. But... Um, you know, they always say that if you don't have anything else, it's good to have what's on your belt. Yeah. You know, and hopefully that's a knife because a knife, anything that's hard to make out in the field. Mm -hmm. So, so what I did is I actually, uh, because I come from South Florida and we use different kinds of knives in the, in the swamps and, you know, we have different trees and stuff. I mean, everybody up north, I know the bushcrafters are, you know, coming unglued. But, oh, yeah. you don't need all that. But down in the swamps, I wanted something that was a, a mix of a machete with a blade. Mm -hmm but something I can also it's work with. Driven. Yeah, it really is. It's purpose driven. So at the, at the core of this particular platform, and it's a Kydex platform, and I'll go through all the tools that we all have on here, is a, is a Topps Steel Eagle. Um, now this particular Topps Steel Eagle has the pony knife, if you'll hold this. This one's got the pony wow, knife. just got reduced to product. That's product. right, product. Vanna will hold this. So this one actually has a pony knife that comes out of the handle. And this little pony, look how thick that is. Yeah, I it's mean, got a spine on it, like a yeah, quarter of an inch yeah, or so. Yeah, that thing is uh, its pretty deadly. So the idea with this is you can get in and do that small work on the wood that you need to. Um, you can use it for food and everything else. I don't have to, you know, sit down, you know, with my brontosaurus burger here trying to eat with this thing, which that's happened. You know. So, and in this particular blade... I've had it laser engraved, and it's got a... That's uh, so that nobody can ever steal it. I always try right. to steal his stuff, but he has his name laser engraved on oh, everything. Oh, I, I brand everything. Yeah, you do. I brand everything with readygoprep.com. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but this particular blade actually has the saw on the black, and I know it looks on the back, it, it looks Rambo-esque, but this particular is a cross cut, and I don't know if you can see the detail on this. Meaning? This actually, the cross cut has offset teeth, like yep. a chainsaw and it's self-cleaning. So I can actually, and I actually have cut trees with this and cut them down. Um, I'm not gonna cut out a, you know, a large tree, but I've cut trees as big as about four inches in diameter, you know, that I needed for shelters right. and raised beds and swamps and stuff. So it's worked out pretty well for me. It's been, a, it's been a great tool. On the back of this, I just have a small red LED flashlight, um, a little bit more tactical on that side. We'll set that down. So that's item number one, two yeah, and three. One, two and three, that's right. Now on the sheath itself, we have a ferrocerium rod on a little pouch on the side. This is a large rod. And on that, I've got Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape is good stuff. Uh, you can see I've used some of it already on my last trip out to the woods. It, um, and it can be used for multiple things. Number one, it gives you a little bit of a handle. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, yep. uh, it does burn quite well. Number Very three, well. it's great if you're putting, you know, magnesium shavings or something, uh, really light tender mm -hmm. in wind, you can actually stick it to the duct tape yeah. and it won't blow away. And then the duct tape will burn as well. And so. the duct tape makes, makes a great tender too. If you pull this yeah. off into like little spaghetti strips and lightly turn it into a ball, you can throw the, throw the, uh, the sparks from the rod onto that and it will light. Yeah. So it, it works as a great tender and it's waterproof and it's got a million other uses. So, and the reason, a, a large diameter rod like this will throw a lot more of a shower of sparks than you would normally get out of those little bitty ones. And I'm not using that little broken saw blade thing that you get in those little, uh, little fire starters. Yeah. Um, because every time we've had somebody come to a class to make a fire, that little saw blade snaps and now they've got a little piece of steel that they're trying to start to fire with. So that's why we've got that on the side over here. The orange cord, which is a leg cord, is actually pre-tied into a Prusik knot, uh, Prusik handcuffs. So what I would do is I would just pull the loops out on this and I would have a set of handcuffs. I learned that in the army when we were doing, you know, prisoners. Um, we were doing various missions where we'd have somebody and we didn't have flex cuffs or anything else. You pre-wire pre these things, pre-tie them, throw them over the wrists, pull them down tight, and then tie them in a knot. And you've got them and the, the more they pull, 
uh, the tighter they kind of get. So they're not getting out of those. So that's a dual purpose, plus it's cordage, and inside the cordage you're going to have all the individual strands that you would have more cordage for if you needed to cut it open. Also on this thing, I have a set of what we call ranger beads. Now these are navigation beads. And the idea with these is if, you, if you're moving through terrain and you want to get an idea how far you've gone, you should know your pace count. So how many times does your left foot hit the ground for a 100 meter distance? And you know that before you go out to the woods. You go out and set up a 100 meter lane and you walk at a normal pace. And for example, my pace at that, on that and walking pace is going to be 67. My running pace will be different. And then my uphill or you know, uphill terrain kind of step is going to be different than that. It's going to be less. So based on the type of terrain I'm on, if I, every time I go 100 meters, I just slide one of these beads downward, that's 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters. When I pull them all down, I come up to the top, and there's five of these up here, that's one kilometer. And then I start over again, and I slide these all back up. So one kilometer and 100 meters. That, so if I'm working with a topographic map, I can keep track of where I am. So that's very helpful. Um, also on the back of this, under this Gorilla Tape, I have a whistle. And I have different types of canvas sail needles. That's those really big needles yeah, that you big, would use to fix one. heavy material uh, like sailors would use. So those are under here. And I also have a bubble compass down under here. Now a bubble compass is not going to be the most accurate, but when you're on the go, you can pull that out and you can hold yeah. it in your hand and it'll give you a general direction and you can move out very quickly. A course quickly. navigation tool. Yeah. Not a fine, we're not, not saying 218 yeah. degrees. It's, it's a dead reckoning, that's north, and so if I know where north is, I know where everything else is, yeah. and off I go. And I, it's, if I lost my bigger compass, you know, everything else is gone, I still have one attached, it's going to get me where I want to go. Um, also on here, you'll notice these two shiny things over here on the side. The most asked question. The most asked question. Chopsticks. Absolutely, those are chopsticks. They are stainless steel chopsticks. And yes, they are just for- Are they for, tactical? Uh, well, they're surgical. All right. It's gotta be <laughs> so one the, the idea other. with this, yes, they are, you can eat with them. Yeah. And there's a number of other things. I can use them for splints. I can use them for frog gigs. I can use them for a number of other things. It just happens that I had a set of these in my pocket when I was asking to get my knife, uh, my sheath made. And he's like, you want those on there too? I'm like, Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. So um, I had this made by Brian LeMaster of Modern Warrior Concealment. Uh, he does a lot of Dave Canterbury stuff uh, at the Pathfinder School. And uh, he went through about three different versions of this. And um, we came up with something that we really like. On the front of this, you'll see that there's a Gerber multi-tool. And a Gerber multi-tool is just that. It's a tool with all kinds of knives. Uh, it's got the file in it. It's got the pliers. And um, it's got a crimping tool all Phillips built onto head, it. Flathead screwdriver. Yeah, all the, all the yeah. basic tools that I would need. So would I need that out in the woods? This is not just about being out in the woods. Yeah. I mean, this is wherever you might find yourself in a survival situation. If I needed to screw something or I needed to pull something or break something or twist some wire, it's there. And he did such a great job of creating it so it locks in place. It will not fall out. It has never fallen out on me. So... So that's the platform, and it all hangs off of a, a single point in the back here. So, so when you were putting this all together, mm -hmm. all right, did you did you wish you could have added anything else to it? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> you know, I've I've actually had bank line wrapped around it. I've had more duct tape. I've had uh, uh, other stuff hanging off of it. But no, I mean it. It gives me the basics of what I need. Right. I got a cutting tool. Right. I got a combustion tool. I got tools. I got eating stuff, compass. Yeah, and, you know, you know, it's one of those things. I, I, I mean, I, I give Charlie a hard time because that's that's what he and I do to each other all day long. All day. But it's it's very similar to you know some people might carry just a small you know say outdoorsy woodsy EDC you know Max Edition bag or anything like that. It's just a different version. Yeah. That, that's really what it is. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that everything is accessible pretty much. Yeah. You know, right when you need it, it's not like hold on, let me get it, let me get it out of my bag, um, and it also. It's a cool idea because it's one of those things that you could keep in your bag. And if a scenario were to ever happen, it comes out of your bag real quick. It goes on real mm -hmm. easy. And you have quick access to the tools that, that you might need mm -hmm. at that point. So yep. so I, I think it's really cool. It goes on really quick. Uh, you don't have to take your belt off or anything. So, mm -hmm. um, 
So yeah, so I mean, you guys were asking the questions after questions, so I figured we're gonna do a video on this today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about this, okay, <laughs> leave them below. I promise you, I'll try to answer them. I might avoid them because he answered all the questions. Uh, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want more information on it, they can check out the Kydex company, say it again. Uh, Modern Warrior Concealment. There you go. You can contact them and, uh, and they might be able to hook you up. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, be safe. <laughs>